<laughs> I'm Cousin Twiz and I'm still at the art thing and I'm at Station 5. And let me show you some of the work. That looked like me right there. Please don't touch the glass, it could cut you. I can't wait to talk to whoever did this. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? What's your name and um, what do you got going on over here? My name is Tommy Handy. Uh huh. And I have some glass art. Is it glass art? Yes. It's looking real handy over here. <laughs> <laughs> so, is you the one behind this thing right here? Yeah. Please don't yeah, touch I the glass. A fun way to tell people not to touch the glass. I just yes. don't want people to get hurt. It is glass. Right. So, um, um, this is different. This is, this is, uh, this is this is totally different. Uh, this is something that I had never saw before. So, could you tell some of the Cousin Twins TV viewers what inspired you, or how did you come up with glass? Like, why glass? So, I initially started me and my husband were making a glass wall in our house. Right. And then we wanted a picture of the glass wall to match the glass wall. Right. So we went to a store looking for a picture. It was very expensive, and like, you can do that yourself. So, I just started playing with it with his support and influence and encouragement, and we just grew from there. So, you just started doing this? We started, we started about maybe about three or four years ago. Three, four years ago. Three, this don't look like three, four years ago. So, your husband helped you, or he the one that sparked that? Uh, uh, was he the wind behind your back to like push he you? He definitely was the wind, behind, the wind behind my wings. He supports so, me. When I'm self-conscious about it or don't like it, he will definitely be like, ah, boy, you good. It's good. It's great. It's excellent. So This is your husband right here? It is. Rashi Gatlin. Hello, husband. <laughs> How are you doing? So, uh, you behind the scenes with it. Right. 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 So, when did you uh, started taking this seriously? Um, well, I, you know, I started doing a couple pictures for people that just asked me to do it. And then last September, one of my girlfriends came over to my house and was like, this is so good, it should be in a museum. Right. So she called the museum and he told me to bring my art by. And so, like, this piece right here, right. Last, I got this from my, the museum yesterday. So, immediately started pricing my things for like way way more than I thought they were worth. Right. So he like priced this at uh, twenty five hundred dollars. Right. Um, now now wait wait wait. You said last year your girlfriend came to your house and said this should be in the museum. Yeah. But I recall I came to your house way before last year. And yeah, but she actually found the museum. Okay, well <laughs> should you I have found the museum and you made some calls? Oh yeah <laughs> Okay. Uh, when she made the call and they start putting price tags on it and you start seeing the ching ching, that's when it started clicking. You know, it, it wasn't even just the ching ching, it was that other people were just saying it was good. You know what I mean? It's right. one thing for your family to say it's good or your friends right. to say it's good. But people that don't know you actually value and what you do is right. what made me really take it seriously. Like, oh, maybe I really got something here. So, and I love doing it. I have a right. stressful job, so it definitely is um, peaceful at the end of the day to have my glass of wine and just start um, putting my, put my puzzles together. <laughs> I call them my big puzzles. Yes, as, yes. As a little girl, I love doing thousand piece puzzles, five hundred piece puzzles. So this is definitely like a puzzle to me, and I love to see what it unfolds. That's what's up. That's what's up. I I enjoy watching it. I never seen nothing like it, and this is real. That I can say this is authentic. Well, all of the art is authentic. 
but this right here is rather unique when you're dealing with glass because you can't so how many times do you cut yourself during <laughs> like an hour, a glass to go on my nail. Or right. My husband will wake up in the middle of the night as he goes into the bathroom and steps on some glass. So right. I have a station at my house and my mom's house, and so she steps on it when, <laughs> right. you know, while she's moving around. So it definitely is a dangerous. <laughs> right, right. Well, thank you. As, as the sign says. <laughs> right. Thank you for allowing Cousin Twiz TV cameras to come and interview me and check you out, and I'm going to be looking forward to doing some more work with you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.